Hey everyone! Welcome to another Let's Play with me, your host Tim. And today, we will begin playing through the epic JRPG game known as Anachronox. Whoa, whoa, that was pretty awesome. There'll be some prep that you can skip by clicking the skip link, which I'll pop up here in the lower left-hand corner, in case you don't want to hear me ramble on for about five minutes about the game, or so, which will, which will bring you right to the beginning cutscene. So, what is Anachronox? Anachronox is a JRPG game. We're going to feature a select cast of characters as they adventure through the universe that Anachronox consists of. The game has an incredible story and voice acting for all the cutscenes. In fact, the story and the plot is one of the main reasons why I want to play this game again. It's been so long, and I like to remember what it's like. And I figured, well, why not? We'll record this one. It gives me something to record and compress while we play. This is not going to be a blind Let's Play. I have beaten this game, uh, I think twice, and it was years ago. Well over two years, uh, ten years ago. The game itself was released around 2000... I want to say 2002? 2001? 2000, 2003? Something, something around then? And so right around like 2004 or so was the last time I had beaten this game. Like most games of this nature, this game lets me walk, so you should expect that I will probably be walking everywhere. I will read everything, all the conversations on screen. This will not be a silent let's play, there is a lot of talking to do. And one more time though, the game does have voiced voiceover for cutscenes, so I won't be doing any talking over them. I will do farming off screen, there's only a tiny bit of it. I'll show you a little bit of what it's like. You don't have to farm for levels, I find the game's just fine like that. I will also cut out any time I have to re-go through an area just to get from spot to spot, unless I feel like talking to you guys. I won't make you watch me just go through certain tunnels. I'm thinking of Sender Station, in particular, going down to the Red Light District. Looking at you, Sender Station. Anyway, so, I really think that's... That's all there is. I think we'll be good to go. Oh, I'm also playing the game with a widescreen patch, which I downloaded from ModDB. In fact, I, I think I'm going to take a look and thank the developer of this, of this mod. It's allowing me to run the game at the 920 by 1080 p resolution. So hopefully this game will actually look good. Otherwise, you're stuck with like 800 by 600. Ooh, you know, not necessarily bad, especially for back then. All right, so I think that's it, everyone. I'm going to go and check on this recording and see how it came out. Hey, pal. How are you doing? Everyone, that's pal18. We'll, uh, we'll be seeing him later. I didn't realize he came out here to say hello. Hello, pal. How you doing? All right, I'm going to go uh, check on this recording really quick, and then we'll be right back. Okay, everyone. Sounds like it's coming out pretty well, though I have to sit kind of close to the microphone for this. I want to quickly add, by the way, that if somehow you got here and you're like, holy crap, Anachronox, I remember that game, but you don't want to watch someone just do a Let's Play on it and read all the text or whatnot, there is an incredible... Machinima of this game. I think one of the developers spliced together a what amounts to a full-length movie just consisting of all the cutscenes in the game. And if you watch that, you will see everything about the story of this game. He even put together a, a few of the fights just to add some combat in between it all. It was really well done. I am playing this because I would like to read all the text and remember the game again. And I dare say I really like this game. Okay, so I think we're good to go. The recording sounds like it's coming out perfect, more or less. So, let's start a new universe. And so, to do this, we have to pick a difficulty setting. So, we can see we can play really easy. We can play normal. I'm a fan of normal. We also play way too hard. Now, I'm going to play on normal. Oh, I should play on way too hard. So, the issue is that a few of the be very, very beginning fights are tough. Like, the first three fights you do. And then for almost the rest of the game, it's too easy, except for the very end. And that's on way too hard. But the combat isn't really why you play the game. It's the story, or at least that's why I play this game. The story and the writing. Writing's fantastic. The guys who made this game, the guys and girls who made this game, fantastic sense of humor. Holy crap, it's incredible. Um... Ah, sure. We'll play it way too hard. It'll make the combats a little more exciting. So, which won't be too exciting anyway. Let's, let's do it.
Money boots, or next time I mix and match. Hit me. Hasn't there been enough of that? Have a heart. You want a dead as kids? Anyone else throwing me out of windows lately? Come clean with the dead, Sly. Dead is no slouch, and he's got muscle. He'll collect one way or the other. Hey, money's tight. As soon as it rains... I'll pour some. I'd suggest a job if I thought you'd take it. Try me. The key to my cellar's missing. Oh, uh, yeah? Where's the job part come in? When you find it, and I pay you. Man, I need a real case. I need a challenge worthy of my deductive and pugilistic skills. But I've got a bouncer. Cute. You want some real advice? Find a job. It's amazing how many of your problems it'll solve. You think? Fatima! Anything on SenderNet? Nothing you're sober enough for. I'm just waiting for business to pick up. What's with the attitude? For one, I'm sick of being dead. And second, I'm tired of watching you drink your life away. When did you become such a bum? I'm not a bum. Prove it. Bums don't have offices. An office isn't a storage room in a cheap bar, Boots. Hey. It's time for a new line of work. Forget it, sweetheart. I'm a detective. It's what I do. Then go out and do it. I'm always here if you ever get off your butt and make useful. Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the, the game proper. Now, it's been a while, so you're going to have to... Bear with me here, as I try to remember how to how to do things here. So F1 brings up our, I guess, our quest log. Quest expanded. Find a job, kiddo. Thanks, Fatima. Do this stuff, because I ain't letting you leave rowdies without a clue. Get the camera off your desk. Find some money in your office. Try the back room. Maybe. Use the time minder over there for luck. Find yourself a job lead. All right, so as well, by the way, the game has a codex of all the information about where we are and everything else of that sort. I will read one entry from the information as we go through it, by the way. But I'm going to start first with this. So I, how do I, there we go. We can walk like this. Okay, so let's try talking to people. So Fatima here is inside this life cursor is what it's called. Basically, her personality, or what have you, is digitized, saved forever, so that she basically kind of lives 
or an AI of her lives inside this and does things for me. So that our gentleman here, Sylvester Boots, does not have to do stuff. All right, so we can talk on someone by hovering over them. See how the cursor's rotating like that? That means we can interact with them. So let's go ahead and interact with this girl. Hey, Boots, there's glass in your hair. I know, it's all the rage in Cortica. All the elements are falling to place. In a few weeks, we'll hit Detta's fortress. I'd ask you to join us if I thought you'd say yes. Eurokens has appeared, and he's got the blueprints. Where is that boy? Now, people generally will have different things to say to you. Once they're done, the camera will zoom out, as it just did to her. She'll now just repeat the last thing she said, and the camera will go back to this. Noxgar has raided the compounds of the top three crime lords in the bricks last night. Guess Data's got the house to himself now. The three crime lords are in detention awaiting trial, although they'll all be dead within the week. It's just a matter of time before we topple Data. We're just weeks away from something big. The Resistance could use you. Too bad you're... you. The conversations we have, by the way, in the game, all the writing, everything, goes from dead, like, how should I say, hair-raising hair serious, like, you, sometimes I get chills from reading it, to hilariously funny, to very sad, to anywhere in between. It's just so well done, I think. And yes, everyone, remember that I like walking everywhere, so we'll be doing that. Private Detective, Sly Boots, what's your problem? Alright, here's his office. Oh, that's a pretty nice looking carpet. Can we click on anything over here? Palatine's been out of commission all year. Size B batteries are scarce around the bricks. Otherwise, I would have juiced them just as soon as I could. Poor little guy. We had some good times. Man, I've modified the hell out of Pal over the years. Bet Quarticom never thought someone could trick out their toys with data port accessories and battle claws. I miss you, little hot rod. <laughs> Alright, moving along. Oh, looks like a group of us together. Although it might be really hard to see, this looks like me. Oh, holy crap! Oh, wow! Oh my god! Let's quickly cover who these people are, because I think that will be important. So this is us, Sylvester Sl Sly Boots. This is Sarah Anoa, I believe is her name. This is Fatima, and this is Pal18, back when Sylvester was not so hard on his luck. Lost a key to the back room a long time ago, but I bet I can pick the lock. Okay, everyone. In this game, all the characters we will get have a special action ability. Sylvester's is picking locks. We can hold down control, and then we'll be able to click on this door, which is locked, and he'll try to pick it. Guess the code for each tumbler by clicking the up and down arrows above each digit. Or okay, so what's gonna happen is this is a game of like memory. The closest thing I can think of would be something similar to Fallout New Vegas, with how you have to get kind of close to a certain hack number or code. Let's show you how it works. By the way, we're gonna have 60 seconds to do this, so here we go. So I hit spacebar. I think. How do we how do we go? Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, I think it rid this. Here we go. So we're, we're scanning for the proper number to go to go at. Two more will do it. We have to go through all the tumblers here before our time runs out. That's the wrong direction. Two, is it two, four, six? Let's give this a try. Two, four, five, or two, five, seven? By the way, the closer you are to number, the more filled up that meter gets. Now, there will be some locks that we can't pick until we get the super ability of this. Holy crap, some cash! Hey, all that money that fell out of my pockets when, uh, yeah. Found some dough. I think we have, like, a hundred bucks. Seems interesting. So whenever that pops up, it means that, well, someone can interact with it. This being a chest, Sylvester can probably pick, pick this lock. But he can. First off, we have five tumblers. But also, we only have ten seconds to do it. 
There's, it's not possible for us to do this. Even if we could guess every single one correctly. We're unable to open that until much later in the game. What else do we have here? My old ape arcade machine. I had to sell the cartridges. I suck. You can probably come back here and play video games if you want to. The game has a bunch of little mini games you can play. In fact, I think there's a mod or someone made a mod to make one of the games like a pretty epic little game inside this thing. Oh, hey, here's our camera. Let's take a look at this. Ah, my old camera. I've taken some doozies with this. We have to use the arrow keys. Mental note, Tim. And delete is... Oh, that's not going to work. Well, will that work? I think page down is mine. Okay. I might have to change those controls. One second. What's... Okay, never mind. I, I won't have to. We should be good. Anything else in here while we're here? Heh, <laughs> my old broadband scanner from when I lived in Cortica. Let's see. Nothing interesting on the Noxgar band. Noxgar patrolling the landing platform got issued the wrong size helmet. Riveting. That's actually super important. Holy crap. How do I, how did I even remember that? My old intercom. Heh, <laughs> don't need it now that you're my life cursor, Fatima. I guess she can do everything and fill me in on all the details. I have a look on, on objectives. Use a time minder and find yourself a job lead. Alright, so we have to talk with other people. Cool. So, what else is there to... This is the storage. Oh, wow, we are literally in the storage bin. I guess... I guess our rent must be really low? Given that we're low on money and... Excuse me. And in addition, random monoliths that we just got, uh, that we're down on our, on our luck. Hello, sir. I'm nervous, Sly. This is Brass Tunkle. Dead is sending people to the tunnels behind the tenements to excavate Mistech. Problem is, it was coming out of there minus the limbs. I don't want to fight cave monsters, and I certainly don't want to work for Detta. I mean, it's got to eat, right? Did I ever tell you I'm afraid of the dark? <laughs> no. <laughs> Hello, sir. What a wonderfully painful spill you took there. It's a shame your neck didn't snap on impact. I delight in the sound. Buy me a drink, and I'll tell you the secret to successful fighting. Sure, we'll give you a... Kankako... Kankako tail. Thank you, Sly. I didn't think you would actually bite. The secret to fighting is learning your chops at Whackmaster Jack's Temple of Beating. He'll teach you the ropes, the cuts, and the beat. Why, he even taught my younger brother to defend himself against my knuckle hammer. Can I take anything here? I can't quite reach it. Oh, and this means that we can interact with it, but we're too far away at the moment. You're just in a slump. We all go through them. I mean, not as long as you have, but... We all go through them. I don't feel sorry for yourself, man. You're making me sick. Hit the brick slide. You've got business to take care of. Right, sure thing. Oh, man. Let's play some Zat? Zot? Is it Zot? Welcome to Ox. Oh, Ox. Okay. Okay. So this is just a game. We don't have to play it whatsoever. We get nothing if we win. This is a really tricky game. So the objective is for us to take pieces of the enemy without getting our pieces taken. So we get move one place, let's do this. Then he moves a piece, then... Then I move a piece. Takes a piece there, so let's go here. Oh, that's awkward. And then we see what the rest of the game is like. The AI is pretty damn vicious at this. Uh oh, we may have gotten him. Back to be up and back him into a corner, everyone. Oh crap! Now he backed us into a corner. Oh damn it! I'm gonna end up back where I was. Oh, they didn't pay attention. Oh, we lost. We'll just quit. All right. So. The game has several games just like this all over the place. It's actually pretty, actually pretty, pretty interesting. I love that they added these little mini games into this one. 
Toil the Bouncer. Hey, Sly. I heard falls early this year. <laughs> I was going to help you out there, but it looked like you had things under control. <laughs> hey, you got to show me how to fall on windows without getting hurt like that. A jerk. <laughs> There's a little dance area here, I guess, for all the people who want to dance in this dump. It really does look like a dump, doesn't it? Hey, Booter. Caught your swan dive earlier. Pretty sweet, dude. Uh, you like that? I've been practicing all week. Hey, you still looking for work? My friend dynamo has been exploring the tunnels for some guy. Maybe you need an extra hand. She's slumming at Frank's flop house, if you're interested. Thanks, babe. You're a peach. All for you, Booter. Cool. We have something that we can actually do. We have a, we have a quest objective. There's a... Dianimo in Frank's flop house. Some guy hired her for a job. Maybe they need another hand. Man, oh man, Sly. I gambled away all my money. I Casinox again. All I've got left is this slag of mystic I found. What do you think? Should I sell this junk or what? Hold on to it, man. It could be worth something one day. Yeah, what am I thinking? Thanks for the advice, man. Oh, we can, we can change the song here, too, if you really want to. I think we'll do that when we come back. It's more of a... We can make it more of a pop song. Big Loud Brew. I love the name of that beer. And our first Time Minder. Hello. These are the save spots in the game. So let's save it right here. Oh, and the game, by the way, can get corrupted very easily. So I'm going to save it under two spots every single time I get a chance. Let's take a look, and let's read, actually, a little bit about this current area. So let's read about Anachronox, the planet we're on. A long-dead alien city planet floating inside the shell of Sender 1. Anachronox was theorized to once have been home to millions of quarantined aliens who slowly died of some sort of horrible plague, leaving this city to fall to ruins, to be taken over by the refuse of the galaxy as a center of the nefarious dealings. Anachronox means poison from the past, or... Poison remaining from a previous time. Anachron anachronism plus noxious. Finally, let's look at time minders. We'll read all, course, all this stuff over time. Because time minders are something we're going to see a lot of, and I thought it was really actually kind of interesting how they worked. Assuming I can actually find information about time minder. I guess not. Maybe. Maybe Fatima will tell us about it when we walk out of here a little bit. Nope. Hey, Boots. Are you okay, man? I didn't see what happened, but I heard the crash. You're resilient, man. This job's boring, so I've been taking up drawing, you know? Mostly just doodles on the backs of these concert flyers. Want to see a little picture I drew? Um, I'm not very good. <laughs> Oh, no, you're not. What even is this over here? Is that the face? What is this? <laughs> Hilarious. Time minders. They exist at all points in time in this area. So what it sees, it sees everyone who's ever touched it at any point in its entire existence. And the basic idea is that because of all these different dimensions, all these different existences which occur... Should we die here, a different Boots doesn't die in a different dimension. I love when games uh, have a explanation for why and how it saves the game. It's, oh, it's awesome. Kajira, <laughs> you there! You're friends with Rowdy? Why does he discriminate against floaters? I only want something to drink and an interesting conversation. We Awa are an intelligent, well-spoken race. My cousin, Kagrand, is the master informant of the bricks. You should look him up. He likes to hang out at the Fountain Overlook. In exchange, maybe you can talk to Rowdy about letting me drink in the bar. People look surprised when they hear an Agua talk so eloquently, but our vocal cords are the most versatile in the galaxy. An Agua can perfectly mimic the voice articulation of any species. Well, except for a Fluvini oyster fish, a uh, Tentex 10. If you heard our native language, you would burst your eardrums. I'll politely refrain from demonstrating. 
There's a floater named K. Conrad Keck hanging out near the Fountain Overlook. He's supposed to be the master informant in the bricks. Funny how we've never heard of him. It'd be helpful for a private detective to actually know this information. So in case you didn't realize it, this is a planet inside a planet, as it were. There's a giant outer ring in... You're gonna hit me, aren't you? <laughs> Unfortunately, Boots, he is. And you're basically just doomed. So, yep, he goes first, and he kills us in one hit. Was it something I said? Yeah, to my sister. introductory offer at the Temple of Beating up the street. Maybe it wouldn't hurt to brush up on those self-defense skills, don't you think? <laughs> oh god, I love the sar the sarcasm, the snark in this. Oh my god. Stop out Whackmaster Jax and brush up on your fighting skills. Just my humble advice. We don't have to do it, but it'll be good to have the game explain fighting for us, so I don't have to. Yeah, so, Anachronox is this floating city inside a giant... It's encased inside this giant... Uh, another... It's not really a planet. A, a metal ball around it, of which all these spikes, called sender spikes, are all extruding from that surface. The sender spikes... Oh, you're such a lucky dog sometimes, Boots. Looks like someone dropped a heel grease plus over there behind me. Yeah, we could use a heel grease plus. Cool. Here it is. This is basically the... Uh, well, it's a heal item. You know the drill. Press F5 to go to the party status screen. Click on the icon of your face. Then click on the heal grease plus. That should bind up your wounds in no time. Now some heal grease plus. F5. Wow, we have one hit point left. So we'll click on this. And we use it. And now our hit point should have been restored to full. Let's go over this really quick as well. So they didn't really want you to worry about numbers. They just wanted you to have a general idea of how your character was doing. We can see that we're 452 levels from le points from leveling up. We got 100 of 100 life. We have no energy. <laughs> That's pretty awesome that they named it energy just like that. This is basically, uh, I believe you consider this your mana. We won't have access to that for some time in the game. Probably like that one third mark. Or the what, yeah. This is our shield. We have none. Might, this is our physical uh, capabilities. We have, we're, well, we're terrible. I think this also impacts our ability to take damage. Agility, our ability to da damage enemies and hit them. And Wisdom, which I think impacts our uh, magic ability somewhat. And a bunch of other stuff, which we don't know what it does at the moment. We have a Broken Viston Pistol. We don't have any substitutions. We don't have anything for any of this stuff in our inventory, so we're all good. Let's get going. That poor creep fell 40 feet to his death. That grav path up there must have malfunctioned. Makes you wonder if you'll be ready when your number's up. Will you have lived the life you wanted to live? All around us, you can see that gravity works differently. It basically locks to you of sorts. We can see people walking above us, to the sides of us. It's like that one part in Labyrinth. You can walk anywhere you want, as long as you just cautiously go walk onto the proper grav path entrance point. Hey, how long have you been standing there? 
Get your kisser out of here before I scut your teeth from your fat face. You heard me, Frownzy. Hit the bricks. You look lost. What are you trying to find? Where is Whackmaster Jack's Temple of Beating? Whackmaster Jack is pretty close. Just head up this ramp, follow the corridor, and hang a right. Oh, thank you. Are you sure you don't need hospitalization? That is the answer. Oh, nice. And everything's marked for us, so we'll still be able to get there. By the way, the whole planet shifts. This planet we're on, Anachronox, as we saw. Imagine New York, or Philadelphia, or a city, wherever you are. And imagine that it just... Whole city blocks just rotate or shift to different streets and everything to make it really confusing. They tend to do certain ones shift more readily than other ones do, but they all can shift at some point. This city works that way. As we venture on, we'll hear announcements of if a major platonic shift that will be happening soon. We'll get a minor earthquake, and then it will be completed. More monoliths. This looks like a factory of some sort. Hello, sir. Max Durgle. Hey, weren't you that hot detective with the cool ride? What happened to you, man? You look awful. Yeah, I was at one point. Remember our picture? Don't you remember? You questioned me about a case a few years ago. You had a little toy robot taking notes for you. And you were always hanging out with that really good-looking Jane. Cute brunette number. Whatever happened to her? That would be San Sarah Anwa. Well, nice talking to you. Hope you get your life out of the gutter. <laughs> Thanks, jerk. <laughs> I'm gonna have to remember, like, half of these <laughs> to say to people next time I get a chance to talk to them. My friends would be a good place to start, I think, right? Oh, this guy's creepy. Do you have the package? Oh, wait, uh, uh nothing. I just, uh, waiting for my wife. <laughs> I'm sure you are, yes. Waiting for the wife. My goodness. Uh, it's, you know what I love about it? All this, all the endings, like their next statements. Transition minor on the late sections 28, 15, 31, and 9 will commence in 15 seconds. 15 seconds, there'll be a sh shift. Let's wait for it to happen, and then we'll talk to these two. Please keep area away. The district of South Agronauts is not liable for injury or death resulting from play transition. Stand by. Transition complete. Some sort of energy field? Probably helping the area do its shifting. Some fountain, huh? They just call it that because no one knows what else to call it. Look around you. These buildings and architecture were already here when Anachronox was discovered 80 odd years ago. Just imagine finding an entire city planet the size of a moon. Nobody's home. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? When it becomes clear the original population wasn't coming back, it can move right in. Mostly fugitives on the run. Yep. <laughs> I fling things for a buck. I'll fling your trench coat for a buck. That's right. I'll fling anything for a buck. Doesn't matter shape or size. I'll fling it right over the rail. For a buck. I'll fling myself down there for a buck. Uh, I think it's illegal to throw things down the fountain, dude. Are you serious? He was my friend. Oh, that, that sucks. <laughs> I'm supposed to be going to my girlfriend's house. Oh, that was, the, that was about a fine, so the guy was telling the truth. I'm supposed to be going to my girlfriend's house, but if I wait ten more minutes, an Acronox will rearrange itself, placing her closer to me, so I don't have to travel as far. You gotta be smart and think ahead when traveling on Acronox. It's just hard to give it directions. Oh, it's just as hard giving directions. Yeah, wow, holy crap. Man, imagine trying to find yourself around in it. Oh, boy. In a city that... Well, and that you can't find yourself around in. That gentleman is there to encourage me to go to the... J 
Jackmaster, Whackmaster Jack's Temple of Beating, which I think is down here. Yep, Whackmaster Jack's. Training, boxing, fighting. So we're going to stop here, and we pick back up, we'll walk into Jack, Whackmaster Jack's. Now, I will put a link in the beginning of the video where you can skip it, because although it's done in-game with, with, you know, uh, there'll be an explanation for everything and how combat works and so on, if you've played this game before, you're familiar with it, then you probably don't want to watch it. But if you're not familiar, I highly recommend you watch it. It'll be entertaining, if nothing else, I think. So I'm going to stop here. We'll see you at the Time Minder, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, and take care.